I was going to start doing a Friday thing, but yeah, I got nothing for an excuse, so well, it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday, guys. What do you want to do? I'm going to read a creepy part. Oh, I don't have any. I don't have any internet. But how am I making this, you might ask? Magic! I don't really have that kind of magic. I don't even know what I'm doing today. I got an idea that this might work. We could play real life fruit ninja. <laughs> nah, that's too. Nah, I'm just kidding. As I'm recording this, I don't have any internet, so. Whoops. I'm gonna take a break from Pokemon, so. Yeah, I don't know. I lost interest in it. No, I don't, I don't know why I decided to do this today, but I'm bored, so let's do this. Any suggestions? I can't say anything anyway, so... How about I give myself a haircut? I didn't think it was gonna be. It's really funny how I'm acting like you can actually hear me. You can hear me. But I mean, I can eat and eat. I don't even fucking know. So, same hung up Snuggie to look like a blue screen, same, I got nothing. I really need to stop chopping off every freaking. damn it, I don't know. Smush references are a big no-no. Let's do a creepypasta, so we're on the weird side of YouTube. Figured I might do one, I've been talking about a lot. Let's do some kind of Yuri of Wind type thing. And do Lavender Town. So here's the rundown of what we're gonna do. I'm gonna talk like a boring old bitch. And you're not gonna see my face, but you're gonna see a whole lot of stock footage I've recorded over the years for Pokemon. Yeah. And by year, I mean five months. So, Lavender Town, here we come. I knew it. And by the way, this is my first time doing a creepypasta reading. Like, favorite, and comment, and subscribe if you want more of this crap. Like, oh, no, did I mention comment? I, I, I think I mentioned comment. Did I mention comment? Yeah. You should comment. Definitely comment. Did, did I mention comment? Comment. Just, just comment, okay? Yeah, uh, Alright, I'll just, I'll just get to the creepypasta now. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. You want a creepypasta? You don't want to talk to me? Okay, pussy time's over. Without further ado, here's a freaking Lavender Town shit, okay? Okay, so while this Ariana Grande copyrighted song instrumental uh, plays, I will be reading you first off about the Lavender Town Syndrome. Now, Lavender Town Syndrome is... Basically, kids who listen to the original Lavender Town theme experience nausea, bleeding from the eyes or ears or whatever because of some high-pitched frequencies. So, that's all I have for Lavender Town Syndrome. Now let's get to Buried Alive. Alright, so Buried Alive was a supposed boss of the Lavender Town instead of the Marowak. And, um, this is its supposed dialogue. Buried Alive says, you're here, I'm trapped, and I'm lonely, so very lonely, won't you join me? And then the battle view would come into play, and then it was supposed to have two white hands, a Gengar, and a Muck. So, yeah, we'll get to white hand later. Mm. But for now... I'd like to talk about if you won, the game just froze. If you didn't win, you did not go to a Pokemon Center. Oh, no, no, no. You went straight to hell. So, yeah. If a player did not get... If a player did not win, 
it said finally fresh meat followed by a few lines of gibberish um and the scene would have the typical game over screen except the buried alive character was shown eating your character and it's very grotesque i'm not gonna show you the image okay maybe i will yeah yeah that's that's just fucked up in my i don't know yeah, I don't know. Just, I can't talk anymore about this shit. Seriously. It's fucking demonic shit. Oh, goody! Along with the Buried Alive stuff, guess what came with it? The White Hand Sprite, or Withand.gif. I personally love White, white Hand and GIFs in general, because they're animated things of boobies jiggling, Patrick's mouth open wide, Spongebob's imagination being crossed over with I don't give a fuck, and stuff like that. So, um, White Hand was supposed to be on the third floor of Lavender Town. It, um, it would have to be divided into separate, I don't know, it had four different animations, an introduction, which is the cry of the Pokemon unleashing before the battle. An idol and two attacks. These attacks are unknown as they are listed simply as fist and brutal. While viewing the animation has been proving to be hazardous, viewing the frames of the model has been proving to have no adverse effect. The white hand is depicted as a shriveled, slightly decayed hand. With surprising attention to detail, flesh is peeling back from the bone, and several tendons dangle realistically out of the wrist. Which, yeah, no, it's not. It's not realistic at all. The um, however, the oh yeah, the first attack is the hand balling into a fist, then swinging forward. However, the brutal animation is missing several frames. The hand seems to open up and then cuts out. After a few seconds, it reappears closed again. No record has been found of these missing frames because it's not true. God. If it is, thank God I don't have that version. All right, so that's all I have on record of those things. And by record, I mean freaking creepypasta wiki, that crap stuff. I don't even know. I don't even understand this. Okay, the ghost animation. I haven't heard about the ghost animation. Ghost animation coded, coded as haunting.swf was intended to be placed in several areas throughout the tower, including the center path of the second floor. However, players cannot interact with it, leaving many to believe it was an intended background feature. The ghost animation as well as as well must be viewed in individual frames, just like the white hand thingy majiggy. Oh, and before I continue for the ghost animation for White Hand, yeah, I already talked to the girl in Lavender Town. Don't even talk to me about that shit. I know, I know what the fuck happened. All right, let's do this. So back to the ghost animation. The ghost animation. Well, uh, yeah, I already read that part. It is compromised of 59 frames total. However, after extraction, around half of these frames have been revealed to be the standard ghost model in pocket monsters around a quarter of the remaining frames are compromised as static to produce a fading effect however enters per i don't even fucking know what this hell this says interspurred interspersed with these bursts of static are several frames of a screaming face along with a picture of a skeletal man in the cloak which is supposed to be, a, I, I believe, the Grim Reaper, and of several killed corpses. The meaning behind these are unknown. Well, 
under oath before a gaming commission board. Fuck that shit. I don't even care anymore. No knowledge of... I don't fucking give a shit about any more of this crap. Okay, seriously. Authors know everything listed here is completely true. All from official findings. Earlier, I... Maybe I can do Sonic.exe and then play it. Yay! Probably gonna be full screen crap. I don't like. I don't deal well with full screen. No, 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 no. All right. All right. Well, that was Tuesday thingy vlog. Schmooly do. See you next time.